Right, uh, what I'm going to do in this video is add uh, indicators up the side of this freighter trailer. So I just jump in game, I can show you. It's uh, pretty bad. So we get the indicators on. game into Z modeler. Now what we want to do start with we will turn off all the random crap uh, so we'll click there shift and click highlights all of those click the tab um, I'm going to what I'll do is basically copy and paste that so I can turn off I know where those are but it's basically just a trial and error to find where those uh, as you click these on and off which one turns on and off and then keep that new one. So I oh know I've already been through this one so as I click you can see it on and off disappearing. So I know that roughly around there that's the group so what I'll do is I'll turn off pretty much everything else under there. Uh, about there. Ooh, one of them turned off so we'll turn that Go down from there. Jeez, I'm having no luck here. Back off. Nope, they're off. Turn that one off. That's that one there for some reason. So, let's have a look here. Just make sure we haven't missed any. No, nope. probably got too many. There we go. Now they. So that could be lights somewhere else around the trailer. So, what we'll do. Um, this is actually pretty simple. So, what we will do is turn the model off as well. Over onto this screen, we will copy and paste that. Uh, so, up to create, copy. Um, We'll just basically move it out, then back on itself. So highlight it all out, right back on top of itself, somewhere like that. Right now, what we'll do is scroll right down the bottom, and if you scroll through, you can actually see the indicator LED. So this is flare LEDs, amber, blink, right. Alright, and then down here there should be one that's called, or up here, blink L, so for left hand blinker. So what we're going to do, uh, right now that bunch of LEDs are called uh, flare LEDs amber. So it's just an amber light that's on when you turn the parkers on in the truck basically. So all we're going to do is change the name. Uh, so if we scroll right down, this is the copy and paste we just made. So each one of these we will double click change that to uh, blink L bit tedious but once you get the first lot done then it's just a copy and paste from there blink L if anyone knows a quicker way to do this please let me know But like I said, once we've got all of it done, we'll just copy and paste these ones and go from there. You won't have to keep <laughs> typing or changing this name. Spell Tony. Bear with me, sorry. Blink L. Okay, so what we'll do now, they're all good. We will go back up, we'll turn just the normal LEDs off. So, highlight, click there. 
we're going to turn those off so now we've just got the indicator lights that we've created that are on and just to make them brighter we're just going to do a simple copy and paste put them back on top of each other makes the light brighter in appearance just double checking that thank you just double checking the name yep okay so I copy and paste just zoom in we will straight out back on top of each other right yeah uh, let's turn everything back on. Sh sorry, shift. Jeez, what have I done there? Click there, and we'll shift, click, click there. Make sure all they're all on. Just go through and make sure everything's turned back on. Done. We'll export that PMD. Overwrite the original. Yes jump in game and let's have a look moment of truth <laughs> jump back out um, so all you do from there is copy and paste that group and go along to the next spot on the trailer paste them across those ones um, obviously when you get to the right hand side of the trailer that'll be blink L sorry blink R um, and that's basically it so indicators right up the side of the trailer a few more lights here and there so hope that helps anyone that's watching and thanks for watching